Hi, this is James C2. Welcome to our latest tutorial in our series. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at cases. A case can be considered as any type of after-sales inquiry or customer service type inquiry that your organisation receives. So let's look at cases within the CRM. Cases are held within the service area of CRM. So we navigate to service and then to cases and we will see a list of cases that are held within the system. At the moment, the view is set to be active cases, so that will show all cases which have a status of active. We can also look at all cases, we can look at resolved cases, recent cases. I'm going to choose to leave it on active cases. Cases can also be found using the global search function or the advanced find function of CRM, and they can be created in a number of ways. One of which is through the new case button. There's also the quick create icon, which will allow you to quickly create a case on the fly. Or there is also the phone support option, which I'm going to demonstrate here. And the phone support option creates a record of a phone call and creates the case all in one screen. A few things to consider about the case form. The case form comes with an out-of-the-box business process flow attached to it, which can be seen across the top of the screen. If you'd like more information on business process flows and how powerful and how easy they are to use, please refer to our playlist and choose the video of showing business process flows. So I'm going to go ahead and create my phone call. First thing I'm going to do is enter a description of it. And I can relate that call to a particular person or account from which it originated. I can click OK and that creates a record of the phone call. And now I can go ahead and create my case. And to do so, I'm going to use the business process flow. First thing it needs to do is find the customer who has called. So when we click in this box and use the magnifying glass icon, that will refer us to customers. That is contacts or accounts that are held within the system. I'm going to say that it's C2 software on the phone. Now, as well as finding accounts, we can also find contacts through that field. We can also relate it to a particular contact using this field. So I shall relate that to myself. And one of the powers of CRM is that if I click on Find Case, it will refer to the organisation or account which is held in the customer field. If we have a contact logged in the customer field, it will look for cases which relate to the account to which that contact belongs. In this case, I can see that this call is in relation to assistance with an install. We have two previous cases, which are browser compatibility issue and a request for assistance with login. I know this doesn't relate to them, so I can go ahead and create the new case. And I shall save it. Now that our case has been saved, I can move on to the next stage in the business process flow by clicking the next stage and we will see that the flag moves to the right. And this has now created our case and it's logged within CRM. We can relate it to similar cases using the find option. I can also access the records for the account and contact to which this case is related simply by clicking on the related hyperlinks. So if I click on C2 software, it will take me to the account record. And we can see that the case has been logged on the records wall and it is logged in the list of recent cases relating to this account. If I click on the case itself, it will take me back to the case record. I can add phone calls, I can add tasks to the case, I can add entitlements, I can apply it to their SLAs. Because we're using a business process flow against the cases, we can see we're at the research stage. I've looked for similar cases, not found the one. In this case, we shall pretend that one of our advisors has talked to customer through the install, the customer has reported it's happened and the agent has allowed them to go, so we move on to the resolve stage. We can mark the case as resolved by using it in the business process flow or in the toolbar there is also a resolve case button. I'll go ahead and confirm that. It asks what the resolution type is, provided information. The resolution was install guide supplied. 
The total time taken for all tasks and activities which have been logged against the case will be shown in this greyed out field here. Because we haven't actually added any time specific tasks or activities, our total time says zero. We can choose what the billable time is. So I shall say we shall bill this client five minutes from their contract or we shall bill them five minutes time for it. Remarks. I fill this in as per our requirements. Hit resolve and the case now is resolved. We can see that at the bottom of the screen there is a status bar which says resolved on the left hand side and on the right hand side advises that the case is read only. If further action is required on the case, the case can quickly be reopened by clicking the reactivate case button. So as you can see, cases can be quickly added to the system. They can be related to accounts, contacts, they can be related to each other. They can even be related in a parent-child relationship. If you have a number of the same issues occurring, they can all be added as child cases to the original case and so on. Different industries would use cases for different things, for example, customer service queries, SLA, preventative maintenance checks, etc. Whatever your organisation would use them for, cases can be configured to suit your needs. Hope you've enjoyed part one of our cases tutorial. If you have, please like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Alternatively, follow us on Twitter. Or if you'd be interested in a free trial of CRM, please click on the link below. Thanks for watching.